Sneakerheads, sneaker freaks, and sneaker geeks. They're all here, and this is the day they've been waiting for. This Soho gymnasium converted Saturday into SneakerCon, a one-day chance to buy, sell, and swap sneakers and turn sneaker expertise into cold hard cash. Tax free. Oh, I made thirteen hundred dollars. Four hundred and twenty-four dollars. I'm just looking to get rid of stuff so I can pay my tickets and bills. Anyone can hawk their wares on the convention floor. A few enterprising thirteen and fourteen year olds put up the hundred and fifty bucks to rent tables. How are sales? Doing yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of them are here selling 15, 20 pairs of shoes at two hundred dollars each. It's a hobby of theirs and it's also becomes a business for them. My mom thinks I'm crazy and uh, my shoes aren't going to be worth anything ever and my dad was just like whatever when he drove us here today. There aren't many rules at SneakerCon. A pair of shoes can trade hands multiple times. The only thing that's not allowed is counterfeits. Exclusive. If you were willing to brave the long line in the cold and the $10 cover charge, it was an interesting peek into an underground subculture for curious onlookers. I think it's cool. It's interesting to like see nine-year-olds selling shoes at a booth. I'm not dropping hundreds of dollars on used shoes, but I can appreciate them and they look nice. This is the most touched sneaker all day. Everyone's come by and asked about them. Air Jordan 6 Motorsports, and it uh, was originally made for his motorsports team, but now it's going to be made available to the public public in February. Taking the resale trade virtual also furthers a culture that is usually only a faceless transaction on eBay. Meet new people, like, see, like what they like, what you like, music, diverse, it's like a good thing. Like. Sporting Converse in Soho, I'm Jeff Lieberman for NYPost.com. Wait, how much would you want? 